yeah, we made our own search engine. And technically the correct term is meta search engine, but anyways, we'll get to that. So the reason why we did this is because you, whatever you search online is such a crucial data point to any advertising companies like Google or whatever else, because that gives you insight to not only the websites you're visiting, but also what you're thinking at that given time, what you, what's on your mind, the kind of things you're looking for, and then they can advertise relevant products to you that way. And that kind of tracking is really invasive and a disturbance to your privacy. If I'm going to be searching shit, I don't want all these companies looking into trying to advertise to me all this crap, right? I want to just search whatever I was trying to search and get to it. And I don't want any of that stupid AI bullshit integrations because half the time it gives me the incorrect answer anyways. I don't want any of that garbage. I want just plain and simple search engine like what Google was years ago. Um, even though they were still tracking and invading your privacy back then. So Raven did that. This is actually powered by a open source project called SeerXNG. Now, if you never heard of SeerXNG, it's a really cool project. Uh, basically, it's a meta search engine. So it aggregates the results of other search engines while not storing information about you. We have you, right? And then we have the website you're trying to visit. Now, this is how you would normally connect to it. And in this case, the website can see who is talking to it, right? And that's bad if you're trying to, you know, not have your search results, your data collected by Google and all this other bullshit. So uh, that's when a proxy comes into play because you send your request to a proxy and then that proxy will make the request on your behalf and then will bounce the result back to you. Now, uh, this is really good for privacy because the website thinks that you're the search engine because this is all the website can see is this right here. It doesn't see this right here or you. Now, if I were to explain SeerXNG here or any other meta search engine, um, I find that name, by the way, quite silly. So if, uh, you know, there's Brave, there's Google, there's StartPage, there's DuckDuckGo, there's all the other search engines, right? The regular search engines. So how it'll work is you actually send your query, your search query to Crx and G, and then it will actually reach out to all of the different search engines on your behalf. And then it will aggregate all of the results together and then it will bounce it back to you. So it's the same thing as it's essentially a proxy for searching. The cool thing about Crx and G is the fact that you can have multiple different providers because this actually provides higher quality search results than if you were to just use Google or just use DuckDuckGo. Because these services, Google is well known for tampering with the search results even, where you don't get as quality search results because also they're of course going to be trying to push all of their advertisers and stuff like that to the top and trying to be pushing all that shit to the top. And if you're searching more sensitive topic, then maybe they're censoring the search results. Now, um, and if maybe you want that kind of more general, higher quality results, and also just because if you aggregate from the different providers, then typically it provides a better experience. Because I know for a fact, DuckDuckGo doesn't have the highest quality search results, so, uh, but maybe you do want more privacy, right? Well, if you go to preferences here, uh, like I just did, and then you go to engines, well, there's actually many different engines you can pick from. So the default that's on is Brave, DuckDuckGo, Google, and StartPage. So it's aggregating from all of these and it's bringing it all together. Um, and you can actually turn on and disable other ones. It even has those little Wikipedia like integrations on the side. So you're not missing out on that. So if I search up Applebee's, just, this is just prime example. And you get the info on the little sidebar that explains what Applebee's is. You even get the little summaries right here that are not AI, but from Wikipedia. And you do get high quality search results. So even let's just say I search up Raven Talon, right? Let's actually see what comes up. I'm curious, I haven't searched this before. First thing that comes up is Talon, and then even articles about Talon, and people discussing Talon. And uh, even if I search up my channel, um, I come up, and it comes up with uh, my stuff, right? So this is, uh, these are pretty high quality search results. Now something you may have noticed is the response time. Because if I were to, hypothetically, I'm going to use a private tab here. If I were to use Google and then search up my username, it literally takes milliseconds to complete. Now, the unfortunate thing here is that this privacy does come with this little bit of a trade-off. Now, if you're okay with that slightly more latency, because frankly, this isn't even a lot of latency, then, um, then it's a worthwhile trade for privacy. But 
you're getting privacy for the sake of for the cost of that few extra seconds the most i've ever seen a search result take by searching on this and i did a little testing was about three seconds tops now this uh crx and g instance is actually uh operated and maintained by our new member of the team oku who's come on as an infrastructure operator so i still operate the large majority of raven's infrastructure but Oku here is going to be operating a little more of our infrastructure and he's going to be kind of taking control of some more of our infra so that it's less of a load off my ass and I can focus on more things like even that upcoming uh, Playing God documentary that we're working on about the Flock AI surveillance cameras, which by the way, if you haven't heard about that, um, I'm making a documentary style video. It's going to be really cool. Uh, it's probably going to come out in about a week or two, so you can stay tuned for when that happens. Oh, and by the way, one more thing. Uh, just if you do type in newtab.ravendevteam.org, because for a little while we had our own like new tab page, and you may be wondering why would you have that? It's just because I wanted it. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted a cool Raven kind of branded, you know, new tab page. But if you go to new tab now, it just redirects to here. So um, that other than that, though, I know this is a pretty short video, but that's kind of all I have to show you. Consider checking it out. If you want to start using it, you can start using it. I use an extension that allows me to actually set a custom new tab. And uh, I set it to this uh, search engine right here.